Let's see. Let's see. Two things this week. What's this? Okay, first up, Carter and I are working on um, bit soil sensor V2 or V3, I guess. Um, we want to do a better soil sensor that is I squared C um, using Seesaw. We did one with it at SAMD10, but it used like the built in capacitive sensing of the SAMD10 chip. Um, but we wanted to update it. So we, we did a revision that used an RC timing. So like a like a low cost um, soil sensor that worked OK, but it had a couple of like weird effects. And so we decided to take another look. And this one is a um, square wave filter instead. So instead of using a very slow square wave and measuring the rise and fall time delay caused by the capacitance of the soil, this one has a high frequency square wave, high frequency, eight, eight megahertz or 10 megahertz. Um, or so, and then uses the capacitance and a resistor, which is adjustable. The potentiometer is our adjustable um, resistor while we tune it, and uses that to to filter the the uh, peak to peak of the square wave, and we're using that to determine the capacitance of the soil. So we'll try this next. Thanks, so. And then I made a little IRDA adapter. This is something that can uh, send or receive IRDA uh, UART data to the UART codec and the um, optical transceiver, the TFBS. Um, so paired together, you should be able to put two of these next to each other and send uh, 115 kilobit data on the TX and it'll just show up on the RX on the other side without needing like any RF. That is top secret. Yep.